Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi subscribers, hi patrons, hello non-subscribers. You should subscribe. Okay. <laughs> oh, Blink 182. I just saw them live, um, what, a month or two ago, and it was incredible. It was so nostalgic. I actually have a video of my concert review if you want to go check it out. <sighs> I've heard nothing but good things about this song and how people are just crying over it. I've seen all the memes. I've literally not been listening to the radio because I just don't want to hear it because I wanted to react to it and just and just because my kid has been sick for like almost a week I just haven't had any time to record so today I have that chance and I can't wait to watch this so I've been a Blink-182 fan for a very long time I never really got into Blink-182 until Dude Ranch came out and that was in 1997 which is pretty much the year that reminds me of when all the best music came out. 1997 was a great year for music. Um, and so, yeah, that took me back to, you know, digging into their two albums before that, which I was like shocked because I think Damn It was the first song I heard from Blink and I just instantly fell in love. Um, yeah, and obviously I'm just looking at their albums here. Like Enema of the State was amazing. The Mark, Tom, and Travis show, amazing. Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, amazing. Self-titled Blink-182 was amazing was amazing was amazing um you know what i never listened to neighborhood so maybe that's something i need to do a full album reaction to as well as california i kind of dropped off the face of the blink 182 world after their self-titled album and i'm not really sure why um i did do a full reaction to the album nine when it came out and i think that was the album where tom was not on the album i don't know if that was the first album he they created without him I, I wouldn't know because the last two I didn't listen to, but I didn't like that album at all. I think the only song that I liked was No Heart to Speak Of, and I love that song so much. I thought it was the only song where the singer, and I'm sorry, I don't even remember his name. That was the only song that I heard like passion from him in. The rest was just a little boring for me. So I'm really excited Tom's back. It's really not Blink-182 without Tom. And so we're going to listen to one more time. And oh my God, I'm so nervous because I just don't want to cry. I'm also wearing my Blink-182 shirt. Pretty sure I got this from like H&M or something. Um, but you know me, I love a good band shirt. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get into this very depressing song. Um, I unfortunately cannot find my headphones and we all know the airpods suck and the sound is shit but i'm sure i'll be listening to the song like ten thousand more times so it's totally okay um but yeah i think my gym headphones that i use at the gym uh and i use for my channel are in my gym bag which i left in the car so I'm not going to get that i live in a building i'm not going all the way to the basement <laughs> all right guys let's listen to this i'm so excited i also just don't want to cry Pretty. Strangers, from strangers into brothers, from brothers into strangers once again. Oh no, we it's saw coming. the whole world, but I couldn't see the meaning. I couldn't even recognize my friends. I'm going to turn it up a bit. But nothing's any different Right now feels the same I wonder why I wish they told us It shouldn't take a sickness Or airplanes falling out the sky Do I have to die to hear you miss me? Do I have to die to hear you say goodbye? One more 
time One more time I miss you Took time but I admit it It still hurts even after all these years And I know that next time Ain't always gonna happen I gotta say I love you while we're here Do I have to die to hear you miss me? Do I have to die to hear you say goodbye? I don't wanna act like there's tomorrow I don't wanna wait to do this one more time One more time One more One more time one more time One more time One more time One more One more time One more time One more time This is like the simplest drum The simplest drum that uh, he has ever done fucking cry you bastards <laughs> listen I'm gonna be honest because uh, I can't even imagine what these guys have been through um, as a band you know and breaking up and disbanding is probably the hardest thing to do especially because you know you're dealing with the band personally but then you also have to take into consideration the amount of fans you have that are going to be just so destroyed by this news. And like they did what they did. They had to do what they had to do. Um, I think the thing that gets me so sad is the fact that, you know, Mark went through cancer. Travis almost died in a plane crash. Like, and it, it shouldn't take those things to recognize your friendships and to you know, get back on the same page. And that doesn't doesn't mean you have to join the band again. It's just don't let life pass you by without the people you love the most, especially if, you know, you're no longer friends or family because of something so little. <clears throat> and uh, for them, I bet it took a lot of, you know, guts to kind of get back together realize that they want their friendships back, realize that they want to be in each other's lives, realize they want to be a band again. And this has to show them, especially the tour they just did, how amazing the fans were that came back and supported them. Like, it shouldn't have taken cancer. It shouldn't have taken a plane crash for them to get back together. But everything happens for a reason they're all still here, they're all still healthy, and that's all that matters. And I just hope for the best for them personally and professionally, because I love them all so much as a fan. Um, obviously, I don't know them personally, I've never met them, but you can tell they have so much fun on stage. So I can't even imagine what happens behind the scenes. Well, fuck. I gotta stop crying in videos. I know I don't cry in a lot of them, but that one was like just super nostalgic because of all the background changes from all the videos that they did. I just love that they incorporated all of the things that they've done together in one video. And like you see glimpses of like, you know, stay, stay together for the kids music video and all the small things music video and things like that. And it just starts flooding you with your own memories of listening to those songs and watching those videos. Oh, man, those were the days when music videos were so good. And they're, all their music videos were so funny. Um, but yeah, I'm just so happy for them. And 
I love the song. I think the song is great. It's so fucking sad. Um, I look forward to more upbeat songs from this new album. Um, I know they have another song um, that they released. I haven't listened to it yet. Um, I think I'll do that another day or I'll just wait for the full album that comes out, um, I believe on October 20th. I wrote it down. Yeah, October 20th, the full album comes out. So I'm definitely going to do a full album review. It's going to be way different from me reviewing their album nine. So this is crazy. Now I know why the world is crying for Blink-182. <laughs> Guys, let's just, you know, wish them the best. Go check out the original video and go show them some love. Ugh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and turn your notifications on. That way you'll be alerted when I do react to the full album. You can support me on Patreon. You can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. There are other ways in the description below on how you can support my channel if that's something you would like to do. Don't forget, I do have a Discord and you are more than welcome to join. It's open to subscribers, to patrons, to everyone uh, who just want to chat about music. So feel free to join. The link is in the description. Ah, so good. Final of the day, Mariah Carey's Music Box. It is the best album she ever put out. I said it. Fight me. <laughs> Go check it out if you haven't heard it yet. My favorite song on the album is Music Box. I'm going to open that for uh, my YouTube shorts very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.